Hello viewers. Welcome to today's lecture on security architecture models. Before that, those who have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe now so that you can get all the videos we upload related to information security. Click bell icon also for the notifications. The three main requirements of information security are Confidentiality Integrity Availability Confidentiality means, only authorized persons should access the data. For example, we have a bank data. Confidentiality of the data here means, bank officials and customers alone can access the data, not others. Integrity means only authorized persons can change the data. For example, for a bank data, any change in transaction entry will be done only by the concerned bank officials, not others. Availability means information is available to authorized persons when they need. Authorized persons can get access to the data when and where they need. These three requirements are essential and what we call this one is CIA triangle. A security architecture model is a statement that outlines the requirements necessary to properly support and implement a certain security policy. In security architecture, the design principles are reported clearly and in depth. Security control specifications are generally documented as independent documents. System architecture can be considered a design that includes a structure and addresses the connection between the components of that structure. A security model provides a deeper explanation of how a computer operating system should be developed to properly support a specific security policy. A security architecture model helps in conceptualizing the design and implementation. Also security architecture model checks whether the implementation meets all the requirements. There are various types of security models. Bell a pay dollar confidentiality model is used to implement the confidentiality. Bebo integrity model is used to implement integrity. Graham Denning access control model and Harrison Rutzo Ullman model, both these models are used to implement access control mechanisms. Like this many more security architecture models are available. Let us discuss one by one. Bell Lapadula model, as said earlier, it is a confidentiality model. It deals with the control of information flow among various users at different levels. It is a formal description of the allowable paths of information flow in a secure system. The model's goal is to identify allowable communication at the same time maintaining secrecy is important. The model has been used to define security requirements for systems concurrently handling data at different sensitivity levels. What are sensitivity levels, shortly we will discuss. This model describes acceptable connections between subjects and objects at different levels of sensitivity. That is why it is said to be subject to subject model. This model ensures that subjects are properly authenticated before accessing an object. Four types of information may be available in any organization. It can be Top secret Secret Confidential or Public Top secret information is the one that need to be kept highly secure and confidential. Access to top secret is very very limited. For example, a country's military information is top secret. Only one or two can access the top secret documents. Secret information is the one that also need to be kept confidential and secure. But it is not that much important compared with top secret. For example, a company's assets and bank balance are secret information. Very few can access the secret documents. Confidential information need to be kept confidential. But the level of confidentiality in this type is less compared with top secret and secret. For example, an organization's business transaction details. People related to that organization alone can access confidential documents. Not need to maintain any secrecy for public type of information. It can be informed to all. That is why we call this as public. 
Here the documents can be accessed by the public. Now let us see the basic principles of Bell Lab Adela model and how it maintains the confidentiality. In this diagram, four types of information are there, with its level of priority. Here, subject means the user. The object means the documents. In this example, a user is allowed to access secret documents. His or her level is only confined to secret documents. Hence this user can read and write all the documents in between top secret and secret. You can see the subject moving between two lines, top secret and secret. But this user cannot be allowed to read any document in one step up. That is, top secret documents. This is said to be no read up rule. Similarly, this user cannot be allowed to write in one step below, that is, confidential documents. This is said to be no write down rule. In the next diagram, again four types of information are there, with its level of priority. Here, a user is allowed to access confidential documents. His or her level is only confined to confidential documents. Hence this user can read and write all the documents in between secret and confidential. But this user cannot be allowed to read any document in one step up. That is, secret documents. What we call it as no read up rule. Similarly, this user cannot be allowed to write in one step below, that is, public documents, said to be no write down rule. By this way, Bell Lap Adela model maintains the confidentiality of all the documents of different levels. There are two types of rules defined by Bell Lap Adela model Simple Security Rule, Star Property Rule. The simple security rule states that a subject at a given security level cannot read data that resides at a higher security level. The star property states that a subject in a given security level cannot write information to a lower security level. The simple security rule is referred to as the no read up rule and their property rule is referred to as no write down rule. Hope you understood the concept. If yes, Please subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you for watching.